Hi guys, Miss Turner back here again today, and we are going to talk about another writing that a friend of mine did. This story is called Moving by Ella. So we've got her cover sheet. She's got a picture of a door and looks like boxes here. So let's see what Ella says. One day when I was walking home, my mom told me my house was full of boxes. We were moving. So here's her mom and they're walking home. So does her picture match her words? Yes, it does. I wanted to see how it looks. I was jumping up and down. I was excited. Ooh, Ella has lots of words about her story, doesn't she? When we were there, I gasped. I said, wow, there were so many boxes. We even forgot to pick out clothes to wear tomorrow. I was thinking my clothes were in the box. And then me and my sister had a snack. And then we played hide and seek. It was so fun. Look, there's them hiding around the boxes. All right. So one thing that I notice about Ella's story that's different from our story last year is there are a lot more pages. She takes more than one page to tell her story. So we're going to add that to our anchor chart really quickly. Let me get my markers here. And I'm going to write that we use at least three or more pages to tell our story. I'm going to draw my pages here with my writing onion. So I'm going to say, when we check our picture, we have at least three pages, right? And when we check our story, we're going to say that I use three or more pages for my story. Because good writers don't tell their story really quickly, right? Now let's look back. So if we've got three or more pages, that means that the first page is going to be the beginning. Yes. So she has a beginning. Then she has a middle. So we've got a first step, our second step, and then it's got an end to the story. At the end, let's look back. At the end, she tells about how they had a snack and then they played hide and seek in the boxes. So that was her end. So her story has a beginning. Her mom told her that they were moving and that there were boxes. Then it has a middle. She got home and she saw the boxes. So it has a beginning, a middle, and at the end she had a snack and played hide and seek. So when we check our story, we have to make sure that it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. First part, a second part, and then the third part. All right, guys, we'll add to this some more tomorrow with another story. See you later.